it's Heather Doyle Fraser and I wanted to come on today because I have a few um, a few questions that I get frequently from clients and I thought I might do a few videos about them um, the first one I wanted to talk about today is the question how do I become a better writer and I have a long answer and a short answer and the short answer is not going to be a surprise it's going to be the same thing that you would say to anyone who wants to improve at something practice and it's no um, secret why we talk about cultivating a daily writing practice it's a practice because you do it over and over consistently it's the same thing that you would do if you're learning a sport or learning an instrument or learning anything new, you have to practice it almost daily to begin to feel a level of comfort, to begin to find that um, place where you feel good about what you're doing. So that's the short answer, practice a whole bunch. And the best way to practice a whole bunch is to create a consistent daily writing practice for yourself and so that doesn't have to be something that takes a long long time like you don't have to be writing for two hours a day you could be writing for 20 minutes a day when you start out you could be writing for 15 minutes a day whatever the time is that feels like you can't argue with I'd start there so if that's 15 minutes, start there. If that's 30 minutes, start there. Um, and then you can gradually increase that. But to start with something that you can consistently do will give you some momentum, it will give you some success, and you'll get better at it. So that's the short answer, practice. The second part to that answer is to, if you want to be, to really master um, writing and to find that unique um, quality of your written voice, you also need to do some reading. You also need to find um, writers that you love and do some broad reading. So not just one genre, maybe multiple genres um, so that you can see different styles of writing and you can maybe even try some on. That's how we learn where our voice is sometimes in writing, by emulating others. And then once you say like, ooh, I like that. I, I like how she connected those thoughts. I like how her style, her writing style is. You might try to emulate that a little bit and try it on for your own voice. And what will happen is over time, you will be less emulating, more finding your own voice because even even as, um, so we do that as writers, we do that in everything. So when you are, you know, learning a song, for instance, and you are um, learning someone else's song, you're going to emulate how they do it. And then as you, once you get the foundation of that song down, then you're going to put in your own personality of your voice into the song. You're going to change things to meet yourself. So that happens in writing too. And I encourage you to not only set up that daily consistent writing practice, but then also to read lots and know what feels good to you when you're reading. Like, oh, that touched my heart. Why did it touch your heart? Why, what, what about it touched your heart? The vulnerability maybe, the way the words the person used, um, the way that the idea was presented, lots of different things. So I encourage you to do those two things, consistent daily writing practice and do some more reading and find what you like. And then you can find your own voice and then your voice can be the one that is touching someone's heart and soul. So if that sounds like something you'd like to talk about more, um, I'm also doing a writing course starting in October where we talk about things like this and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, it's called Writing Your Book, a step-by-step -step compassionate approach to, that starts and ends with your voice. So 
I will put the link to that in the comments. And if you are interested but are not sure if it would be a good fit for you, just message me or put um, a message to me in the comments below and I will contact you and we can have a conversation about it because I want to really dispel this myth of the tortured writer. It doesn't have to be a tortured process. You don't have to be tortured. It can be a process that meets your needs and also is fulfilling. So thank you so much for um, tuning in today and I will talk to you again another time.